Hey guys, it's Brian from West Bend Dino here. We're gonna start a new Tech Talk series, short videos going over a lot of different concepts and ideas and things we deal with every day. First topic, one of the most popular and something we get all the time is Boost. Uh, we're gonna talk about superchargers, different types, and how Boost actually works. <laughs> So we get calls all the time with customers asking, hey, I want to put a supercharger on my car. I want to make X amount of horsepower. How do I get there? Well, Boost is actually a pretty simple concept. There's 14.7 PSI of atmospheric pressure around us at all times. And since your engine is an air pump, if we add 14.7 PSI of boost pressure to that air pump, we effectively double the size. So if you make 300 horsepower naturally aspirated, you're going to make around 600 horsepower with 14.7 PSI of boost pressure. That's in theory what, how it works. Does that always work in real life? No. There's gonna be restrictions in the intake and or exhaust possibly. And it also takes power to drive the supercharger unit itself. Also, you need to correct fuel and everything else to go along with it. So let's talk about the different types of superchargers that we mainly install here at West Bend Dino. All right, first let's talk about these types of superchargers, the, the PD blowers, the root style, the twin screws. Obviously they sit on top of the engine itself, belt driven, uh, and they tend to make peak boost pressure kind of all the way throughout the entire power band typically. Obviously some things vary, but if the kit calls for, let's say eight pounds of boost, it kind of makes it throughout the entire RPM band and you get basically a lot more torque and horsepower in the lower RPM range uh, than you would with say a centrifugal. How the centrifugals work is again, belt driven, but boost comes on with RPM. So the higher the RPM, the higher the boost pressure. So if this kit calls for eight pounds of boost, you may only make two, three pounds of boost at around 3000 RPM, but eight pounds of boost at peak engine RPM. Uh, they tend to make a little bit more power in the upper RPM band than, than some of these do. Uh, but obviously every kit's a little bit different. Uh, but the horsepower and torque come on in more of a linear fashion than a, we'll call it a flat line throughout the entire power band. If you require assistance selecting the right supercharger for your application, visit us at westbendino.com. Uh, give us a call at 262-692-9035 or shoot us an email at techinfo at westbendino.com. Thanks.